Mrs. Johnson. Donovan? You was going to need a bigger man than that to satisfy your needs, Mrs. Johnson. I didn't know you were interested in gardening. Oh, yes, I've always taken an active interest in the natural world. <laughs> There's nothing I like better than to lie back and watch something grow. Since my husband died, I find I get peace in my garden. Hmm? Well, I'd like to get a peace in your garden, too. Come on. Let me turn your topsoil. Let me string your borders. Let me rummage around in your hedge. Let me erect the unnecessary water fountain. Donovan, please. Oh, hello, Mrs. Johnson. Mrs. White, good morning. I've seen her garden. It's nothing compared to yours. Her roots are dry, her bushes are overgrown, and God knows what they're swimming around in her fish pond. Donovan, please. Let me put it another way. You and me is both plowing a lonely furrow. Your fields are still looking fertile. My seeds are most definitely ripe. So harness your ass to my plow. Because it's time for some serious crop rotation. Some phenomenal fertilization. And some heavy duty irrigation. You see, it has a very sophisticated sprinkler system. Are you volunteering to do a spot of work in my garden? It will be both an honor and a prolonged pleasure. Good. We'll start with some deadheading. 